I was meant to be a painter, but back then in those days, uh, the saying was painting was dead. Um, and to this day, I kind of regret not being more into painting. Um, but it's always been there. It's always been a part of my life and it's calling me back. There's something about paint that's about the smell, the texture of painting that um, I'm, I'm really enjoying. I'm a painter. People say, oh, you're an artist. I, I don't like the term artist. I'm a painter. My name is James Roberts and I'm a, a painter. Um, I specialize in oils. Uh, oil is my thing. I love the smell. Um, and landscapes has been a, a recent thing that I've been getting into. So this past year has been horrendous for all of us. Uh, it's been a time of reflection. We've had to think about our purpose in society and what we do and what inspires us. I mean, for me, just being away from a workspace, going to an office and working with uh, my workmates and, and not being able to do that has forced me to think about well, how to be creative, what to do in a, in a closed space. And so painting has become this thing that I've become obsessed with. One of the latest themes I've been working around is called View from a Moving Window, um, which is essentially about uh, capturing those little moments, that view uh, that you might see as you're driving down the highway. You look at the car and you see a beautiful landscape just for a brief nanosecond of a moment and just trying to remember that little scene. They're landscapes that are not based on reality, they're based on memory. Uh, they're all in that little 16 by nine film format, like little frames from a, from a movie. Um, and to me, that's really intriguing. That's what I love about art. I mean, all art is a journey from inspiration to a completed work. What's amazing about the time that we live in is the amount of art that all of us can access. We all see more art than Van Gogh, Monet, and the entire Impressionists combined ever did in their lifetime. Our access to art is just mind-blowing. <laughs> what I love about that is that I can jump onto my iPhone and find inspiration from South America, from Africa, from wherever. Um, I can view works and just having that access to beautiful inspiration. And that's where Art Pharmacy um, is so special because these guys are, are finding great artists, they're putting them up on their stable and putting them out there. It's also an honour uh, to, to be up there, just having a platform to show some work. We all have so much access to beautiful art all around the world that it's hard to make a choice when you're wanting to, to buy some art. I think the important thing is to have a connection to a piece. You look at a piece of art and it's got to mean something to you. Don't buy the investment. Don't buy the name. You buy what feels right, what looks good to you. Um, there is no bad art, uh, and that's what I, I try to say to myself. There's only art that connects to different kinds of people.